times, but you won't hear it again. Unless it really gets bad, then you no. might hear about it again. Oh, yeah. oh nice! <laughs> Catamaran's gaining on us. Oh, just lost the race. Almost two years ago, we left it all behind for a chance at the sailing adventure of a lifetime. It has not been smooth sailing since then, but together we are learning and laughing our way through. Our hope is that if we laugh long enough, we can make our merry way around the world. And this... This is a Millennial Falcon. Boaters again! Woohoo! Yes! Back in the water! Time for a nap! <laughs> oh, automatically my mood is like happy again! So I've just run it up to about 2000 RPM and got about five and a half knots. We're in close quarters so I don't want to be too crazy. She sounds good, she sounds really good. I reckon that loose, just the tiniest bit of play and the colours bearing, tiniest bit of misalignment was uh, entirely responsible for that noise which is mind-boggling but at least we know I'll explain when I've got more available brain capacity hold that thought Fresh air! Yep, yep, yep. As I was saying before the wear on the old colours bearing was pretty trivial to be honest like everyone who looked at it agreed that it had life left in it but the Brunton's instructions very clearly says that if you don't have, like replace your cutlass bearing when you put the prop on because um, it will, well they don't say why, they just say make sure your cutlass bearing is tip top. Um, and the wear on the cutlass bearing, what little there was, was very imbalanced. So one surface was sort of running out of tread I guess you could say, and the other was full. Um, so I reckon my theory about being misaligned and then being correctly aligned has opened up a recess in the cutlass bearing, uh, I think that's probably on point. And the new cutlass bearing now, I ran it up just now on the way out here to 2000 RPM, um, five and a half knots, and it sounds fine. I'm pleased, that's how it sounds now. That's it, it's done. Putting it to bed, you heard it here first. Actually, this isn't the first time, you've heard it about a hundred times, but you won't hear it again, unless it really gets bad, then you no, might hear about it again. And then I just won't film. So it's a gusty old day here in Tyrrell Bay and we've woken up all prepared and raring to go and have a little race. Um, so you probably would have seen last episode or previously that Adam, that last week, was a um, local regatta around the island. It was kind of a regatta but kind of not because um, because of Covid it had been cancelled but all the local boats were like eh we want to race anyway. So, in the spirit of that, this week, all the cruises in Tyrrell Bay, of which there are tens and tens and tens of boats, um, they've all said that they want to have a little bit of a regatta. Um, so anyway, we've uh, been travelling around with a boat called Adriana, of which Craig and Zena are on, for some fellow Aussies, and they've said that they're going to race their boat. Um, look, I'm not going to lie, they'll probably cajoled into it from everyone around here, uh, from all of their friends around here, <laughs> and, so they've, uh, and so they've reluctantly perhaps said that they're going to race their boat. Um, we are part of the team, and we are donning some red t shirts today. Check out my happy pants too that I figured would match quite well. And we're gonna go and race on their team around the island. Um, but it's like really windy conditions. Um, the sky isn't overly great so I don't think we'll be flying any spinnakers today which is kind of annoying. That was one thing I was like oh maybe we can learn um, how he sets up his spinnaker and uses it and yeah I figured maybe we might be able to learn a little bit from there. But I have been delegated to be cameraman and probably just ballast in general. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it'll be fun today. It'll be quite good. Um, and there's no such thing as just a, a cruise. There is always a race going on. So this is the formal race at least. <laughs> race day breakfast. Breakfast of champions. Leftover bread dough and some crap tips in it. Oh, uh, wow, have... nice. <laughs> Do you need cheese? Little sprinkle oh, of yes, cheese. Oh yes, we do. Yes. Oh, I tell you what. If there is one thing that this boat always has, it's cheese. Cheese is one of those 
Cheese is one of those things, if you could never live without, sorry, if you could only live with one food for the rest of your life, I think mine would have to be cheese. Yeah, definitely. How about yours? It's beer food? <laughs> sure, in this context. No, no, no. Well, no, that's hard. Pizza? No. Eggs. Really? Yeah. Eggs? You could have a whole eggs. life just full of eggs. Why eggs get you, get you where you need to go? You, know, you yeah, can do so yeah. much with them. So here we are, this is Adriana 1, she is a Hunter 54. No, she's right? not, she's a 49. 49, sorry. And I must say, I'm really impressed. It's a lot more stout than I gave Hunter credit for. Um, I was talking to Craig about this, apparently they changed hands uh, a little while ago and they really upped the quality. I mean, it's still, still a crew, like a, a production cruising boat, um, but it's much more than I gave it credit for. Previously, Hunter's I always thought we're a little bit, you know, plastic fantastic. But this is rock solid. Like, it's all solid woodwork and joinery downstairs. It's really a be quite a beautiful boat. Craig and Zena own it. They've been kind enough to let us aboard today to race with them. This will be my first race in... First semi-official semi race, because, yeah. well, two boats gone the same way as always a race. <laughs> um, so true. Since we left, Kiara, since 2018, yeah. if not 17 when we were on a S uh, Swarbrick 97. And prior to that, I raced out of South Perth Yacht Club on an S80 called Balancing Act, which was the Ducks Nuts. So yeah, it's kind of, this, this is a bit more official than I thought. This is apparently sponsored by Mount Gay Rum. And a lot of people hooning around in these red t-shirts, uh, which we don't have one yet, but apparently they're- Here's a hat. Cruises Regatta 2020. Hopefully there's no disasters, given that it is 2020. <laughs> We're doing a clockwise circuit around the island, much the same as you would have seen last week for the um, local boats regatta. So we have a northeasterly breeze now for a clockwise circuit, which kind of sucks because we're going north into a northeaster and we're going east into a northeaster. And just as we turn south, the wind is allegedly going to swing to the southeast. So it's going <laughs> to be kind of a beat or a reach all day. Um, but either way, it should be a nice day. This is a really fancy boat with massive winches, electric winches. It's a staysail, uh, sorry, it's a cutter rig with a massive rochi main. It should be a nice day. I dare say we're just all gonna be ballast because everything is just electric yeah. and done for us. Sheets are, and you kind, of, you kind of forget you're on different boats, and you go to something you're like, wait, I don't know where that lives. <laughs> So in true race fashion, all the boats who are going to be in the race are currently hovering around the starting line. And the starting line is this tug right here. We need to be on the starboard side of that at exactly 9.30 we need to cross it. So we're all just kind of hovering, hovering, sails up, hovering and, uh, and waiting for the time. Uh, I think it's about 10 minutes to go now and I reckon that there are probably at least 20 boats here. At least 20 boats around here. Um, and because it's an anchorage, uh, hover like for us to hover and wait for the starting time means that we're like, be like going in and out between all these anchored boats. <laughs> it's a little bit scary at times. We're so close to all these boats. Uh, can you imagine if they're just like waking up and all of a sudden they see this massive full sail just in front, like just next to their boat? I'd be petrified if that were me. All right. That's the marker, just started the rain again. It's gonna be a fun race.
So we've got 22 knots constant, we're beating into it and we still have yet to clear the lee of the island so it's going to be an interesting day. Seems to be a lot of the fleet packing back to try and get into the bay and I don't know, get some calm. Not sure what their plan is but we're going that way and they're all going that way so we will see. Okay, I'm downstairs because this is the only place I can film where there's no wind. Uh, we're getting about 20 knots or so up there, um, but I think we're in the lead. We're just at the top of the island now, we're about an hour or so in, and uh, yeah, I think we're, I think we're, uh, we're up there. So I'd be very surprised if somebody overtook us now. Um, Adriana, the boat is doing very, very well. Running downwind, wow. wing on wing, in Dying, first position. In well, we are going painfully slow for some reason. It's about the best we could hope for, but it still feels really slow because we've been screaming along at nine two. knots. Yeah, 7.2, getting better. I'll call that a surf. And uh, the schooner behind me, you probably can't see it with this camera, has just been chasing us. Chasing us like we've got a $100 bill hanging out our zipper all day and uh, we can't figure out why they're doing so well. They, they're not wing on wing, they're not running dead down wind. And they're really keeping up. So uh, we, had a, we had a rough start. There's a bit of biffo at the start. No collisions, but a little bit of biffo, a little bit of bullying. Uh, but we got out of it and we've managed to uh, just, yeah, get out in front, get clear, and hopefully we can hold the lead. So we're just coming up on what I believe is Saline Island soon. And uh, then we'll be on the final leg into oh, yeah. Tyrrell Bay. There's a catamaran getting awfully close, so the kite's coming out. We need to make some more speed. Catamaran's gaining on us. Talk about team colors. Unfortunately for us, midway along the home stretch, we got caught in the lee of the hills on the south side of Tyrrell Bay, which left us dead in the water and whistling for the wind. 
And all the while, our friend the cat was barrelling up behind us. We're like right in the hole. Yeah, and it's like the horse following us. Just lost the race. Yeah, they got wind all the way up there. You never know, they might just park it here and get stuck. They got yeah. so much momentum, look at their bow weight. Yeah, right. Ah, totally. Lucky for us, we were all caught in the same calm. Eventually, we caught a break and it was all hands to the rail for a close race to the finish. It's neck and neck at this stage, we'll see who wins. Whilst we were sorely beaten in speed, we were able to point higher and make a more direct course for the finish line, which resulted in us crossing to the stern of the cat. All right, the catamaran is a little bit ahead of us, but we are pointing high, so still every man's game right now. As we reached some clear air, the wind swung further to the north, which meant neither boat would lay the finish line on this tack. Both boats held their line as long as they could before tacking in succession and beginning the final race to the finish line. This last tack needed to be a good one. Stop! Someone's ass is on the sheet! Get, Get off, off the, the sheet! Wait, 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 wait! wait. 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 We won! We won! It was a real nail by the finish. Oh, it really was. was. Real nail by yeah. We got a lift on one tack and then we got knocked on the other. Fortunately, we managed to like hold off the cat because we both were on starboard and as soon as he tacked, he would have been on the port tack and had no rights. Um, so we managed to bully them far enough out that when we both tacked at the same time, we had just enough windward ground to make the line. But they were running us down. I reckon another hundred feet, and they would have picked us at the yeah, post. Yeah, they, they were. It was tight. It was really tight. We're still dubious yeah. of I that engine think, action. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm but, putting money on it. But a uh, somebody who just almost almost got pinned to the post would say that. We still won. For better or worse. I would say we're still losers, but we're just still we winners. Won, so we can grab all we like. <laughs>